Friends, in this podcast, I am going to talk to you on the topic, FOMO is back. Fear of missing out doesn't come to us at market bottoms. It always comes when the market has moved significantly from the bottoms formed in recent times. This time is no different. Clearly, we see a fear of missing out playing in team after team. We first saw it in FMCG and then we saw that spread to Reliance. From there, it spread to Pharma, from Pharma on to financials and now it's spreading to the small and mid caps. It probably will spread right up to the micro caps. Nothing surprising. Markets always behave the same way in every cycle. This time is definitely no different. But as an investor, it is important to know what one should not participate in. It is very easy to think that we can participate in every market trend. But some trends are meant to be ignored or meant to be passed over. Whenever we see heightened FOMO, that is one trend that one should learn to pass over and say that I am going to sit and watch this out. But investors think that they can get in and get out quickly as long as the trend lasts. But the trend never waits for us. When the trend will break is not known to us. So most of us who think that we can get in and get out before the trend is over, always get left behind. The remnants of the trend and the pain land squarely on our shoulders. That ensures that we don't participate in the next trend early enough. So effectively, avoiding FOMO and sitting out of a trend helps you to participate in the future trends. It helps you to get in early, get your eye in, build your investments nicely over a period of one or two years and then profit from the trend whenever it catches up. Early trend catchers tend to do far better than those who lug on to the FOMO crowd. Effectively, you need to be an early trend catcher now and you need to avoid FOMO. How can you do this? What are the early trends today? Today, it appears that most trends are at their late stage. Probably the only early trend is uh, the rapid disinvestment by the government. But there is no evidence today to give us that confidence. So keep watching the trend. The other early trends possibly are uh, a revival in real estate. We could also think of a sharp rebound in gold as an early trend. Gold mining is probably another early trend. So these are some of the early trends that one can talk about. So be ready to catch any of these early trends when you are convinced that the trend is nearer or you are seeing more evidence that gives you greater confidence. Try and avoid the FOMO factor and the FOMO crowd that is participating right down to the micro caps. This trend can break over the next few months and it's important that you should not get left behind or caught on the wrong foot. If you already own investments in trends where we are seeing FOMO, my advice would be to sell gradually and go to a safer place. It's always better to leave a party before the party goes out of control. You don't need to really enjoy that phase when the party is completely out of control. So that, in essence, is what one should do now. Now that FOMO is back, deal with it sensibly, smartly and patiently. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice time.